Now being joined by uh, lawyer Justice Abdullahi of the Crown Legal Bureau here in Accra. We're discussing a very important subject matter. Have you ever had a brush with the law and didn't know how to get proper legal assistance to, uh, if you will, untie the knots that you yourself have uh, used your hands or might have used your hands to tie and uh, you could be strangling yourself? Well, let's talk about it. Counsel, good morning. Good Thank morning. you very much. How are you doing, sir? bless you, my brother. I'm blessed. The subject of getting legal assistance is, is big. It is. But you know how to break it down for us. First of all, if somebody has a brush with the law right. and they're thinking, yeah, I, I don't have money to afford uh, uh, legal services, uh, there's ADR, whatever it is, how difficult is it in Ghana to get proper legal assistance? Well, um, to, to be blunt about it, um, it is quite difficult. Mm -hmm. And it is so because, unfortunately, for uh, in our uh, part of the world, mm -hmm. it is not just about legal. Everything else is quite difficult to obtain. Okay. Every good services is quite difficult to obtain. Um, if healthcare, I mean, think of mm. proper, even government services. You that need are to supposed get a plate of jollof at a wedding. You need even to, have to get a watch to buy mm. across the gutter. Mm. I mean, it's sometimes quite difficult because you either may not have the resources mm. to afford it or for some other reasons, uh, maybe the watch is alive on uh, Ramadan, so mm. probably she will not cook. Right. And so, really, I mean, it's, things are quite relatively difficult. So, but it is worse with professional advice. I mean, professional um, um, services, mm. like medical services, um, hospital, I, I mean, accountants, mm. I mean, uh, chartered um, accountants in particular. These services are quite difficult to come by, okay. and they are also quite expensive. So accessibility um, here would include both the fiscal presence of the persons mm. and then also the cost involved in mm. obtaining these services. Mm. Um, however, um, we have some, a small room mm. available for, um, with respect to accessibility by way of cost. Okay. Um, and this is um, by the establishment of the legal aid services right. in Ghana, and most countries have it. Other countries have legal insurance. The mm. EU countries in particular, mm. they have legal insurance. Um, particularly the Scandinavians and all those. So instead of waiting for you to be involved um, in a legal tussle mm. um, uh, before accessing the services of a lawyer, you okay. pay ahead of time. Mm. I mean, you pay just as we pay health insurance mm. here. Mm. And so the moment the event occasioning the, 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 um, your attendance to a new mm. law court or mm. the services of a lawyer occurs, you have what, what is our situation way? in Ghana as, as it starts? Our situation right? So somebody who is uh, low and bubbly uh, gets a brush with the law, maybe he, he jumped the, the traffic light or somebody came to uh, disturb him, he decided to issue a few punches here and there and he has a brush with the law now, he needs legal help. Unfortunately. How difficult is such a person, how easy is it for such a person to find a lawyer? It is difficult first of all because we don't have sufficient lawyers in Ghana. Mm. It is, so that's, that's where the physical accessibility comes in. Okay. It is sometimes almost impossible. You always have to know somebody who knows somebody who knows mm. someone mm. and then who can then get you to a lawyer. Okay. It's, it's, it's that difficult. Mm. And it is worse outside of Accra. Mm. If you are within mainland Accra, I mean, I, mainland Accra because um, mainland Accra um, is relatively easier to know a law student who may know a lawyer mm. because his mm. lawyer, his teacher or lecturer is a lawyer and those few other things. And so it's mm. relatively easier within mainland Accra. But outside of Accra proper, in other words, outside of Accra, Tema, okay. getting access to a lawyer is almost impossible. It's Indeed, it's tough. the last time I read, somewhere in the entire three northern region, even government mm. did not even have lawyers. Wow. Even, the, I, I understand the last, um, that the Attorney General's office and, uh, and the and the and the charge office and all the government agencies put together didn't mm. even have up to ten lawyers. Wow! In the entire northern regions, that's, I don't that's, know whether it has that's, changed. That's, that's worrying. Today. If, if so, that tells you mm. how many private practitioners would also want to stay. Okay. So most people would have to hire from Accra or Kumase for the people to go there. Okay. Um, these Kumase is relatively better. Um, Cape Coast, Takradi, because of the booming in the oil activities and stuff. But there, there's so, always a call that is made. People are graduating from law school. Where do they go when they graduate? Brain drain or um, what? Listen, we have, on the average, we have around 5,000 lawyers in Ghana. Okay. Seven, close to 30 million. Mm. Clearly. That's inadequate. Clearly. In the ratio, I don't, I don't even know how you're going to do the ratio to even get uh, an adequate calculation of this. Because 30 million is against about 5,000. 
out of which I'm sure about 500 are politicians. About 500 mm. are all into politics. And then you probably would have about 1,000 who are into um, other areas and um, mm. corporate practice. Corporate, corporate practice. Okay. So you, you, you barely have about 3,000 lawyers. They are not the day-to-day -day lawyers. They are not the lawyers. That, so the person is a lawyer. Yes, he is a lawyer. Company secretary, for But example. he's a company secretary. He's um, an in-house counsel for mm. some real estate company. That man has never entered courtroom for the past 10 years. And so really, he is a lawyer. He knows his stuff. Mm. But mostly, he is specialized in what he does. Okay. And so even if you go for him, he may not be able to help you. Okay. Because either he has been bounded or because he can just not help you okay. one way or the other. L let's talk about the step-by-step -step approach. So I have a case. Yes. Uh, my landlord or my landlady is like we, we discussed last week. I go and hire uh, a room. Surely. And the conditions were good. Then I realized that the rains came down. It was flooding there. Mm -hmm. And so I want to check out. The landlady says, no, I've gone to rent control. They couldn't really help me. Sure. So now I need a lawyer to help me. Absolutely. Where do I find a lawyer? And what's, what are the processes to go through in finding this lawyer? So you see, I mean, there are no formal processes in going through getting a lawyer. Now, the easiest informal way of doing this, which has worked for most people, is that they would always rush to the nearest court available. Mm. Because that is the, the courts are the offices of the lawyers. Right. And so most people would rush to the nearest court. Mm -hmm. And there, unfortunately, what you are, you are saddled with having to mm -hmm. meet anybody um, mm. that might be or may not be able to help you okay. one way or the other for mm. any other challenging reason. Mm. But it has been the most used approach. So mm. you go there. Otherwise, as we do in Ghana most of the times, you talk to a friend who, oh, I've heard of this lawyer, or oh, I know mm -hmm. about this lawyer, mm -hmm. because there's no formal approach. The other way of going about it is to go to the bar, bar office, mm -hmm. and unfortunately, I don't even know how many lawyers even go there. So, but you go to the bar office, they have a list of lawyers in Ghana okay. that you can access, that you can um, have their services mm -hmm. um, if you can afford. Um, similarly, you can also go to the General Legal Counsel's office mm, mm. and they may refer you to some lawyers that they may deem appropriate for you. I see. But these are informal. Mm. These are no mm. formal structures. Okay. But they are the ways that you can, you can explore get a lawyer. to get a lawyer. But otherwise, the best approach would always be these days to go on net. Mm. But the disadvantage with these, all these approaches are that you, f you, you get the services of a lawyer that as you find him, whether good or bad, okay. he's the one that you have found. Okay, because you are in trouble at Because you are in trouble at that And moment. so whatever you get, you take it. Unfortunately. So my advice has always been this. Make sure you befriend a lawyer before you get into trouble. Mm. As they say, seek ye the kingdom of God first. And all, the rest shall always shall be, be added, added unto you. So, so now... So don't wait till you get into trouble. Let's talk about how expensive it is. Because a lot of people may have been incarcerated because they couldn't find lawyers. And because even though they had a case, they didn't know how to articulate themselves. Surely. Uh, and so they found themselves on the wrong side of the law. How expensive are legal charges in this country? Um, that is naturally relative. Um, but at least it is regulated by law and okay. by the bar association. Mm. And so there's a scale of fees approved. I mean, it's supposed to be every year. Okay. Um, it's supposed to be reviewed every year. But Sometimes it goes, in fact, the last time it was reviewed was in 2015. Okay. And it hasn't been reviewed, um, it has not seen any review since mm. then. So, really, um, it may be expensive to the ordinary man, okay. but it may be also cheaper for the other person. Mm. And it is really relatively affordable for, for everyone. The good thing is that even though you're not supposed to charge below, mm. Um, some few people compromise because the, the person is allowed okay. to do the, offer the services for free. Pro bono. Pro bono. Okay. So you see, so because of that, some people, which is... Do one, people do that? Do lawyers yeah. do free services? Do they offer free well, services? Well, our, our firm, for instance, I'm, I'm sure at a point it was the highest um, service provider for the legal aid mm. office, mm. Um, which is pro bono. At a point, we were the highest. Mm. Um, and as young as we are, I mean, we need money, but... Um, we also felt, considering our stance against politicians, mm. always lambasting them for, for wrecking our nation mm. and, 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 and doing all the misdeeds they do, which oh, they are vowed never to stop anyway. Um, so we also take the opportunity to contribute our quota to national development. Okay. And the way we do it is to do it the formal way. Okay. And because really, if you want to wait for anybody to walk in and offer free services, it may go unknown. Okay. 
and because ta of tax and other matters, mm. it has to go through the formal channel. Okay. So for, for us, if you come, we will refer you to the legal aid office, and they may give you a letter to come back to us. Okay, and then, then, we, then it's, it's formal. It's formal. Let, let's talk yeah. about, um, we'll talk about legal aid, but let's talk about, for example, this uh, drivers always complain, truck, truck drivers, taxi drivers. They always complain that, look, sometimes they go to court, yes. and it is because of what the prosecutor has said or the MTTD officer has said and that will be the basis of what it is because they couldn't find a lawyer. They are standing in a witness box alone and they can't speak English. And even though the translation is done, talking to them, you know, sometimes even writing their statement at the, at the police station and all of that. How do those people find help? Now, these are genuine problems that go on on daily basis. Mm. Indeed. It actually goes beyond that. It's also sometimes call on the misconduct of the prosecutor. Sometimes right. the investigator or the prosecutor will just tell you, oh, don't worry, just say you are guilty and then you'll just be fine and you exactly. go. Exactly. And so, and this is a person who lives on less than 300 cities a month. Mm. He can naturally not afford the services of any lawyer, however cheap the lawyer may be. Okay. He may not be able to afford it. And so if he has been informed that the moment he says he's guilty, um, he will just be fined some paltry sum and then okay. let off the hook. He goes accepting guilt even when he's not guilty. Okay. These happen every single every day. Every day. Every single day. Because somebody told him, yeah. say because you are guilty. Mostly it is the investigator. Mostly the investigator. And few times. Why do they do that? To make their work easier? To make naturally the work becomes easier. So he closes the matter, he's gone. And he just throws, I mean, you are thrown into um, um, whatever um, mm. chamber locked up for a number of days or months or weeks. And so, and he goes back home. Of course, because sometimes you cannot predict the mood of the judge. Mm. When you thought he was going to find you, because you had been informed that once you plead guilty, you would, you would be fine. Right. You also forgot, or possibly you were not informed, that he also has the option of incarcerating you. Right. And he decided to exercise that option. Mm. What do so you do? So bad for you. So you get so to the police you. station, you, so you, you have a, 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 an issue. You get to the police station, uh, they pull out the sheet and give it to you to write your statement uh, without legal advice. Surely. Should you go ahead and write it or should you wait for a lawyer that is not available? You shouldn't even wait to get to the police station. The moment you are invited by the police, the most appropriate thing to do is to start searching for your lawyer right that moment. But if you don't have a lawyer, where do you go? That's why I said start searching for a lawyer that moment. Okay. See, so you may not know a lawyer, you may not have a lawyer, but you have to Talk to people who may know lawyers because I, I said that you could Google, I mean, or I mean, search the net to get. But mm. unfortunately, most of these people do not even know how to even um, search the net or even read. Okay. All right. So the most appropriate thing is to start talking to somebody mm. who may, because that is always the first point of call. Talk to somebody who may be able to help okay. and get you the services of a lawyer. Because mm. really, the things that happen at the police station are things that can change your life completely. Right. Completely. Once you put down the statement. Completely. Your life can turn the entire 360 simply because of what you said or did not say or ought to have said. Okay. Okay. And so, but people go there feeling a bit relaxed, thinking that nothing can happen. Of course, because sometimes I feel it's because we are Ghanaians. Mm. We take a lot of things very easy. We take a lot of things very, on a softer note, mm. until it gets worse. Indeed, otherwise, imagine all these people who are behind bars, not even having been tried. Mm. Nothing, absolutely mm. nothing. They Remand just went prisoners. to court and then they are just remanded come back in two weeks and it becomes 14 years, 15 years, 20 years until God decides to show them mercy. See, so, and all this because... And, and there's a reality. These are happening every single day. Every single day. This is gone. Every so, single day. So now let's talk about legal See, aid because if, for example, I have a relative who's been kept in there for six years as a remand prisoner, uh, maybe the doc the docket is even is been missing. We can't find. This, find this a is the reality, my brother. Somebody's died. Somebody's been transferred. Good. Uh, somebody is retired. God bless and, you. And you I'm, know the facts. I'm locked up behind it. What help can I get? For example, can legal aid assist me? Legal aid can assist you in everything legal. Everything legal. They mm. can assist you. Um, they are supposed to offer you. They are not supposed to come in 
as an institution to really um, to, to, to do your work for you. Mm. But they are supposed to offer you the services of a lawyer. So they will usually get you a lawyer okay. to represent you. Mm. And this lawyer's job is to come and do what the lawyer that you ought to have paid for okay. would do for you. At no cost. At absolutely. Most, voila, that is where the challenge is. Okay. It's supposed to be at no cost. Mm. But basic costs would have to be paid by. Like so. what, appearance and fee? Appearance fee, printing, those things are not really. People but talk about the appearance fees. Say, yeah. Charlie is too expensive. A lawyer appears and give me 200. But it's, it's actually cheaper. It's going to appear and give me 500. It's, it's true. Going to appear, give, it's give true. Me this. But you forget that the, the, the lawyer's transportation, the cost of his transportation is not supposed to be borne by him. Right. I'm offering you free services already. Mm. Free services. Mm. And you're asking me to pay for my own fuel. You're asking me to pay for my own laundry. You're asking me to pay for my own everything to just to do this for you and mm. service my own car. I'm a, it's not every lawyer that is rich. That, mm. that ought to be understood by right, everyone. Right. And so somebody gets up, somebody doesn't even have a car, mm. and he's a lawyer, and then he wakes up in the morning. Probably he's coming all the way from Adenta to, mm. say, a court in, I mean, maybe Teshi or Kaswa. Okay. F pro bono. And you're asking him that in addition to giving you a pro bono services, He's supposed to foot all this bill. Mm. Assuming he even coming with a with an Uber, it's in and out will probably cost him about hundred or two hundred or hundred and fifty cities. Okay. And you're asking him to foot all this because why? You you paid his school fees for him? Huh. We have okay. to be realistic sometimes. So counsel says find a lawyer now, befriend a lawyer before it's too late. Number one, uh, if you get to the police station and you're asked to write a statement, look for a lawyer. Know what you write there could uh, change your life 360. So now you know. If you didn't know, now you know. Counsel, thank you very much. God bless you, my Most brother. Grateful. You and that's Lawyer Justice Abdullah. He is with the Crown Legal Bureau Office here in Accra. And uh, they offer pro bono services. They're, they're, they're very good lawyers. I can vouch for that. So please,